<laughs> well, good morning, ladies and gentle folk of the internet. And today I'm working on this. So another boring video, I'm afraid. Um, we've had this for a while. It was put in when the kitchen was built many, many moons ago. And works fine. I've only done one quick job on it, and that was to change the heater element because uh, it's a self defrosting thing. Uh, so I changed that several years ago now, and it's been fine ever since. But one problem is the ice maker. Uh, it works, but let me show you the problem. So in here is the ice bucket itself, and you've got a module that sits just there. Um, and basically the ice is formed in the back there, and I'll get you closer when I'm actually doing it. The ice is formed in the back there, and it's got um, some sort of temperature probe on the bottom, and it drops the ice cubes out into the bucket when they're ready. Um, What's supposed to happen, there's supposed to be a lever bar, uh, let me get you in just here, um, and the lever bar is broken, and the reason it's broken is because for some reason, and I don't know what, um, the ice just kept filling up and up and up until it actually snapped off the lever arm, so basically the cut off isn't working, so the only way to stop it producing ice is to turn it off on the front. So I've got a new module to put in, let me show you. So this is the new module, and if I turn it around, as you can see, that's the lever arm that's broken off on mine. Um, I don't know why it isn't working. I'm hoping it's something inside this uh, this module here. Um, it's pretty much self-contained, and it's only got uh, one block connector. Um, so it's pretty much all self-contained in there. So um, I have a feeling of the micro switch um, that actually is activated by this arm uh, has probably gone. And yes, I could probably strip it down and replace it, but um, the module wasn't that expensive to be honest. So um, I will take the ice bucket out. Um, I've got to drop down a panel at the top of this actual uh, device and um, put the new one in. So uh, let's get on with it. So the ice bucket to get it out is pretty easy. You give it a bit of a... It needs a, a bigger one. Hold on. There you go. That's the one it needed. So it needs a big... Not, not a little... Uh, Okay, that comes out like that, and that goes over here, and we pour it down the weiss back, like this. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we don't. <laughs> and as you can see now, um, there's the module itself. So the water's fed in right at the back there, and the module pretty much pops out by pressing that up, like that, and giving it a pull. Uh, the only thing I've got to do is take off that top shroud, because that's where the wiring is. Got the screws there, um, I'm hoping at the back there isn't any, but there probably is hidden away that I can't see. So uh, let's get the module off, let's get the screws out and uh, see where that takes me. Uh, wiggle it, just a little bit, yeah, wiggle it. Why do I try doing this with one hand? Hold on, even better, I've got a camera assistant. That gets pushed up, give it a wiggle, 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 wiggle. There you go. That drops out. That comes out, that's all connected. Now I've got to take that out. And screw. Two screw. Oh, hey, there you go, it does drop down. That was easy. So there you go, all I've got to do now is disconnect that. Yes, thank you. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Press the button. <laughs> Press the button. So I've just got to disconnect that and then put the new one in. Simples. Whoa. Timber! <laughs> Look at that. And plug, place it somewhere carefully somewhere else. Put it in the sink. Carefully done. You didn't look that there was a glass in the sink, did yes. you? One of your whiskey glasses, so that's alright. It's fine. Right, that in there. This is where I find out it's the wrong one. Ooh, look at that, it works. That goes back up there. Where's that wire go through? 
Uh, didn't look at that bit, did I? Um, uh, I'm assuming it kind of all goes in there like that. So that stuff clips up there like that. That goes in there like that. Oh, look at that! Perfect. Right, screw. How the holes lined up? There's a question. Yeah, shut up. Beep beep. That like that. That like that. I've got to say, I'm impressed how easy this is. Even I can do it. Even you could do it. No, I don't think so. Right. Tape off. Don't know why they want to stick tape all over it, but wow, nothing like going overboard. Have some tape. Thanks. I'll also never give you any egg. Right, that goes in there like that. That goes in there like that. And they have to go in there like that. So that pops in the hole at the back. Yeah, whatever. That, by the way, is the alarm saying we've got the door open. Yeah, I think I know. All right, let me check this, because that's not, that's not going in there very easy. Just me. That in there. Ah, I know what I've done. It doesn't come with the rubbers. <laughs> right, I forgot my protection. I've got my rubbers. <laughs> what was that titter for? <laughs> You're being rude. No, not me. Never. Right, so that in there, like that. Those have got to go in there, like that. Got to feed that into the hole at the back there, like that. Give it a push. Make sure that's lined up. Yeah, this is easy. Oh. It's in there, that's in there, they're in there. Done. No, you're not. There's a great big thing on the draining board. No, that's all right. Full of ice. Full of ice? Full of ice. Wow. Full of ice. Right, hang on. <laughs> Let's move the... What? Right, go for it. Oh, you're going to put all that ice back? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to chuck it down there. <laughs> Not with a waste good ice. <laughs> no, you're going to want a whiskey later, aren't you? Nah, I don't drink. Teetotal. Oh, Teddy's dropped his ice cube. Are you going to get it? There we go. That slot's in there like that. You give it a bit of a... <laughs> to get it back in. Yeah. There's the ice coming out. And now, in theory, let me get you in there. When the ice gets to a certain position, that should pop up, and it's, it's actually above the height it needs to be at the moment. So that thing goes to about there, clicks off, and uh, stops producing ice. So I'm going to shut the door, and we'll know in a few hours whether it works or not. Um, in theory, it should fill up because the sensor on the bottom um, isn't sensing ice in there. So obviously it's not at uh, temperature to dump it all in the tray. So in theory, when I close this up, in fact, I could probably test it now. I could probably press the button and hold it in. And maybe fool it into thinking that it needs to fill up. So let's see. It takes a, a few seconds. So uh, hopefully you can see what's going on. All right, so it's kicked in again. It's starting to uh, lower the temperature. Um, Okay, it's not filling up at the moment. Maybe it takes a couple of seconds to register, who knows. I know there is a test button on the bottom, so I'll press that in a minute if this doesn't work. But I was kind of hoping it would fill up with water. But maybe there's something else somewhere else that measures when it last dumped out. So maybe we're not at optimum yet. Who knows? Right, let me press the test button just to check it's working okay. And uh, at least then, 
that one over that's not a dodge unit. Right, take this out again. Follow me to the drain board. Mm. That there. I'm sure it's working fine, but it's just me. Right, on the bottom there is a test button. Let me get you under there. It's there. So you press it up. It takes a bit of a, takes a bit of force, but there you go. So that's what it basically does. Gets there, twists itself to dump and crack the ice out, which is good. So if I press that button in, let's see if that's enough to pull it over there. Let's see if that's enough to uh, make it work. There you go, and it's filling up. It is working. It just needed that test button pressing. Right, that is it. Um, now, in theory, when we get to the optimum ice, that should click up like so and it should kick the ice out and that is it I am done so there you go ice tray is back in again and uh, yeah that should uh, that should do what it needs to do now and hopefully by replacing it like I say that is going to click up in time and then we won't need to mess it out what we're having to do at the moment is basically you can have cubed ice you can have crushed ice but we have to turn it off when it gets to a certain uh, certain height inside that tray um, hopefully now we won't need to do that so if I leave it on cubed we will see later whether it um, overfills or whether it kicks out and uh, does what it's supposed to do Done. so thanks for joining me that was a quick little video um, for those that want to know the model number um, I'll include it now because I believe it's actually, well, I'll put it in the description, but I believe it's also, there you go, somewhere there. Um, but again, put it in the description, but it's basically, um, it's an old one now. Must be getting on 10 years old, but it's been really good. It's a Samson unit. Ba -ba. And uh, so the only thing I've done to it other than this is change the heater um, pad inside of that fridge there. Um, it iced up, basically. Um, behind that panel there is some fans and it blocked those up but all it is is a little heater element and when it's um well every now and again it just clicks in melts the ice and um, carries on freezing again right i'm waffling so that is it we are done next job what's the next job dear on sleep you heard it here youtube i want my on sleep doing I was thinking more You're making. I was thinking more making candles. I've made candles. I'm waiting for some fragrance. Oh, okay. Mm. Right. Say goodbye to the internet. Bye, bye, internet. Goodbye, internet. Ow! <laughs> <laughs>